So hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Ford and how Ford has put more of their focus on electric vehicles. I believe that the uh, that Ford joining the electric vehicle industry will have a chance for Ford to bounce back, especially it's trading at much cheaper valuations compared to competitors and has a very strong brand name. So I believe for value investors, it could be uh, a good comeback play. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. Uh, if you do enjoy, consider subscribing. It is free and it does help me out a ton. If not, thanks for watching anyway onto the video. So the first thing we're going to be looking at today is just a little bit about the company. So in 2019, Ford released a car called the Mach-E, and this was their first electric vehicle car that they released, as they focused more from the petroleum and gas cars, and more towards like self-driving and electric vehicles. So recently, they've also partnered up with Google, and this has, uh, this makes them uh, partner up with projects uh, with Google, um, ranging from modernizing plans using Google AI, uh, but also focusing more on developing a better retail experience uh, when buying a vehicle similar the way Tesla does. So they're creating new ownership offers um, and using vehicle or past data uh, to have a better customer experience using Google's cloud service. Uh, as a part of this deal, Google is now the pre uh, preferred cloud service provider for Ford. Um, in, tw in quarter four of 2020, Ford had a very big surprise for the investors all around the world. Uh, the automaker's earnings per share rocketed more than 183% to $0.34 cents on revenue, uh, and the revenue went up to $33.2 billion. Uh, analysts expected Ford to uh, report a loss of $0.07, cents, so this was a very big surprise, uh, and they beat revenue estimates of more than a $1 billion. So the CEO, James Farley, has said that Ford will be accelerate investing into electric vehicles and self-driving cars, and they plan to put more than $29 billion uh, into this industry uh, through uh, up until 2025. So analyst Bill Seleski has also rated that it's rating on Ford to a buy from previously was a hold, and has set a new price target for the stock, uh, which was $14. Uh, it officially launches the Ford Blue Advantage on the 11th of February, and this was its joint uh, program with Google. Uh, so this creates a new digital marketplace for Ford dealers to connect more seamlessly with consumers certifying for used uh, used vehicles. Um, and this is a very uh, big step for Ford because uh, looking at Tesla's data, consumers spend on average between 10 to 12 hours online shopping for a used vehicle. And using this better um, program with Google, it could have a bigger shift from clicks to buys, uh, no doubt increasing the revenue and profit of Ford. Uh, of the 18 analysts that have recorded Ford, uh, 11 have given it a hold rating, 2 have given it a sell rating, um, and 5 have given it a buy rating, and the average target price is about $11.34. So overall you see that uh, people aren't overly optimistic on Ford, but people aren't overly pessimistic. Uh, more and more people are towards the middle. Um, and I tend to lean that this can actually be a very good investment if you play it right. So now we'll just be looking at uh, Ford comparing it to its competitors. Uh, so the electric vehicle industry as a whole has shockingly high valuations. So Tesla has a, fa a forward price to earnings ratio of more than 200. Its current price, uh, price to earnings ratio is more than 1,000 and a market cap of $702 billion. Uh, if you compare it to NEO, uh, NEO, which is not profitable, uh, trades for more than 32 times sales with a market cap of uh, $89 billion, which puts it more than twice the size of Ford, uh, which is quite concerning because Ford sells uh, tens times more vehicles than uh, NEO would. So Tesla last year hit close to 500,000 sales, whilst uh, Ford easily surpassed 3 million sales last year. You can see how much stronger of a business Ford is, and especially with Ford coming into the, into the electrical vehicle market, uh, you can see what a big disruption it could cause. Uh, uh, no doubt, uh, I believe that in the future, uh, Ford can really benefit from this and have its stock price increase. Uh, Ford has also tried to streamline its business so it could give it uh, an edge over other larger companies so such as General Motors or Honda that are also trying to come into the electric vehicle industry. Uh, the company has restructured itself, it's cut off uh, unprofitable uh, vehicle lines, uh, eliminated staff redundancies to boost margins, and in the near term, investors should expect Ford to become smaller in terms of revenue, but also more profitable, so they're becoming uh, more future-looking um, which could be a very good uh, investment uh, should certain value investors be looking at this company uh, as it has a good future potential, has an already a very strong name and has the ability to disrupt the electrical vehicle market as it joins. So the next thing we'll be looking at uh, is Ford's technical analysis. 
Uh, so if you look at Ford over here, you could see the stock price over the last year. It kind of started off at about $10, dropped all the way to about $4, and is now trading at uh, quite a high price of $11.45 if you look at the stock price over the last year. Uh, but if you do recall previous to the video, um, most analysts out of the 18 has an average buy price of $11.43. So the stock price isn't actually trading too far from what analysts believe it is a, a valuable stock price to buy at. So if you look at the three lines that we have, so we have the green line, which is the 20 day simple moving average, the blue line, which is the 50 day simple moving average, and the uh, yellow line, which is the 200 day simple moving average. So if you look uh, over that too, you have the 20 day above the 50, the 50 day above the 200. Uh, this signals that the stock price uh, is kind of trading at a pretty decent price right now. So you can see it's not too far away from the 20 and 50 day simple moving average, but it's far enough from the 200 day simple moving average to see that the stock price has moved a significant amount upwards over the past year or so. Uh, you could also see that it is finding stability at quite important aspects as the stock price increases. So the first line you could see about at $7, the stock price threatened to cut, uh, fall back below, but it found resistance uh, at the 200 day simple moving average. The next time it went up, it fell down and found resistance at the 20 day simple moving average. Once again, up, found resistance at the 50 day simple moving average, went up again, found resistance at the 20 day, and is once again at a new high. Uh, so once again, what we're looking at here is that the stock price, uh, every time it goes up, uh, it has the threat of coming back down, but finds resistance uh, somehow. Uh, and continues to track upwards. This is a good sign for the company. Uh, it kind of hints that an imminent crash is not coming uh, because if company just goes straight up uh, but has no like resistance lines that it's rebounding off continuously, uh, that could be a dangerous investment like we saw with GameStop uh, or AMC uh, last week and the week before that. So here you could see I would give it a pretty decent buy price at about $10. Uh, however, uh, I'll go through later on. I wouldn't recommend the buy is the best way investing in it, but I will be giving a different option to how investing in this with a lesser margin risk, uh, but a greater, greater return on investment, uh, if it does pay off well. Uh, so once again, I feel like a fair value estimate is about $10, slightly lower than what the analysts expect, uh, which is close to the 50 day simple moving average. So before we end this video, I would like to talk a little bit about the future growth and the analyst expectations of the future growth uh, of Ford, uh, and then we'll end off with some final words recapping what we went through today. Uh, so Ford is expected to become profitable over the last three years. For those who didn't know, Ford was profitable all the way up to 2019. It suffered quite heavily in 2020, even though it made $3 million, uh, 3 million car sales, um, but is expected to become profitable by 2022. Um, which is better than you could say other electric vehicle startup companies like Leo, uh, like Neo. Uh, so it's not too bad. It's not really that concerning that Ford is unprofitable because it, it it's expected to become profitable in the near future. So that's pretty good. Um, and its earnings growth are expected to grow at 66% per year, which is faster than the market. So more than twice the market of 33%. Um, and the industry, uh, the industry of 33% and the market of 20%. Its revenue is set to grow slightly slower than that. It's uh, the revenue is set to grow at about 18%, which is faster than the industry of 15% and faster than the market of 10%. So overall, you could see in the near future, the next one or two years, Ford is expected to outperform the market as it focuses more on EV, uh, which I believe will pay off. So now we'll just be ending off with some final words. So Ford has had a very slow decline over the last 10 years, but it's looking like it will be making a comeback uh, because of its potential future growth. Um, as it focuses more towards electric vehicle and self-driving. Uh, I would suggest what I was talking about previously, I would suggest to buy a long call at $10. Um, the option price for Ford as of right now isn't that expensive. Uh, so if you buy a long call by now at like $10, uh, let's say you pay uh, $250 to buy a long call at $10, and two to three years from now, uh, the stock price is $15, so you pay $250 and you get uh, $500 back. It, it would be a better return on investment than buying it at $10, uh, because for you to buy it at $10, it has to go to $20 for you to make a 200% uh, return on investment. Uh, so that's why I believe buying the long call, especially with it being a cheaper stock, uh, would be a better investment for that. 
So just finishing off remarks, Ford is currently a dirt cheap stock, uh, especially with it entering the electrical vehicle market, and it has the potential to disrupt current players such as Tesla or NEO or FUV. Uh, it will be a good uh, investor for people who want to get uh, like into the Ford like uptrend quite early, but as always, because there is uh, the always imminent risk with the company not performing too well over the last two years, there are uh, 10 years, uh, there is always a risk involved. Uh, if you do choose to invest, still make sure you do your own due diligence and thanks for watching. Bye.